Pal World is already a massive game that'll take you multiple days to fully complete. But just like every game, there's a ton of items that you normally can't get hidden within the game's files. So that's why, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of Pal World's unobtainable items. The Radar Sphere has a dark green look to it, and instead of only being used to catch wild pals like all of the other spheres, this one is actually meant to catch other players' pals. I got on with a friend of mine to test this out, and found out the sphere will only catch other players' pals if they were in a different guild than yours. Meaning, in the future, there's a small chance that we might be able to go around and steal other players' pals, which will make for some great gameplay on servers. The next item is another sphere, which is the Debug Pal Sphere. This one is almost exactly the same as the Legendary Sphere that you can get normally, but the Debug one has zero weight to it, while also having a different texture to it. And, just like the Legendary one, I still haven't seen the Debug Sphere fail to catch something, even on max level pals on a fresh character. So, while I doubt this item will ever be added to the normal game, since it was likely just added for testing purposes, they can come in handy if you can get your hands on some. Now, while the Debug Sphere is pretty useful, the next item is probably the most useful one in this entire video, which is the Hyper Glider. Normally, you only have access to three different gliders, with the best one being the Giga Glider with a speed of 80, but the Hyper Glider beats that by a long shot with a speed of 300, alongside also having the lowest stamina drain out of the gliders. This item seems to be working completely fine for me, so I'm assuming this is something we'll end up seeing in the future since it's basically finished, or it may have just been something the developers cut since they thought it was too overpowered. Kind of like the Radar Sphere, the next few unobtainable items are ones that we might see in the future, which are fishing rods. Now, originally, in some of the old trailers for Pal World, you could actually see some fishing going on, so it's not too shocking to see that the fishing rods are still in the game, with there actually being four different fishing rods. But the real question is, if they're still in the game because they got cut from the game, or is it because they might be added to the game normally in the future? Regardless of what the answer to that question is, the fishing rods barely work, with them all having the same icon and displaying a pickaxe once you equip one of them, so there's not much else to cover with these. The next unobtainable item is a weapon, which is the laser rifle. Right now, if you equip it, your player will go into a T-pose while also losing an arm. But on the flip side, the laser rifle itself works perfectly, and is actually super overpowered. It spawns in with a ton of ammo at the moment, but if you do want to get more ammo for it, you will need to also spawn in laser bullets, which are another unobtainable item. The laser rifle isn't the only unobtainable weapon though, as we also have the sniper rifle. This weapon surprisingly works totally fine, even allows you to zoom in through the scope. This does mean that trick shots in Pal World are possible, but there's not much else to cover here, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. Now the next unobtainable item isn't actually an item, it's multiple items, which are all of the debug handguns. I decided to group these all together since they all seem to be the same aside from their inventory icons, and their names, which are all type related from the looks of it. None of them are overpowered like the laser rifle, and all of them have weight unlike the debug sphere, so aside from just collecting things, there's not really any reason to check these out. Kinda like the last set of items, the next few unobtainable items are testing weapons, which are all of the NPC weapons. These are weapons that have an insanely heavy weight, so you will need to modify your player a bit to be able to walk around with them, but once you equip one of them, you will realize it puts you in the same T-pose the laser rifle does. But unlike the laser rifle, each NPC weapon deals a normal amount of damage, even including the NPC version of the laser rifle. Most of these weapons are ones that we already have in the normal game, like the bat, but there's one entirely new weapon here, which is a massive Gatling gun that deals 10 damage. And that wraps up this video. Now I will say, there is a very good chance I missed a few unobtainable items in this video, since I'm having to dig through the game and find all of them myself. But if you happen to know of any that I did miss, let me know what those items are in the comments. Thanks for sticking to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Pal World videos like this in the future. And as always, make sure to have a wonderful day.